The Span Smart Electrical Panel. It's probably the most robust and feature-rich smart panel on the market, but how do they work? And how do I know if I need one? I'm gonna be answering those questions and teaching you all about smart panels in today's video. The Smarter Way to Go Solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about smart panels and specifically the Span Smart Electrical Panel, which I think is probably the most robust and feature-rich smart panel that's available on the market. So what is a smart panel? Very simply, a smart panel is an internet-connected, software-controlled circuit breaker panel where each circuit has a current sensor and a relay built into each circuit breaker. Okay, so what does that mean? First, a current sensor or a CT, current transformer. What that device allows the system to do is it knows exactly how much electron flow, how much electricity is flowing through each branch circuit. And so when you have that information, you can then determine how much energy or how much power each individual load or each individual circuit within the house is consuming, both instantaneously as well as total energy consumed over a period of time. Now, with having the software controlled relay, it also gives the system the ability to turn on and off the circuit based on programmatic settings. So for example, you may wanna program certain times of the day, let's say when you're away from the home, you're away at work, you may not wanna allow your air conditioning to run and burn that electricity. So the smart panel can be programmed to do that. Or let's say you're in an emergency backup power situation, you're running on solar and battery power alone, and maybe you don't wanna run certain high draw but low priority items so you don't drain your battery too fast. You could program the smart panel to turn off your electric clothes dryer or your electric water heater if you're running on battery backup power. So what are the advantages? Why would I want a smart electrical panel? Well, the first two things are just very simply, it gives you visibility and it gives you control. You know, from the app, you can actually see exactly what your home is doing in terms of energy consumption and you can manually disconnect certain appliances or again, programmatically program certain appliances to disconnect under certain conditions to help conserve energy uh, or to help extend your battery runtime during a blackout. Now, of course, the other benefit is for saving money when you're in a time of use scenario. So those of you who are watching from places like California, Arizona, you know that in, in many cases, you can have a huge price difference between your on-peak hours and your off-peak hours. Now, typically, your, your peak hours are gonna be between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. This is when the demand for electricity from the grid is highest. This is when people are getting home from work, they're plugging their EVs into charge, they're cooking dinner. Uh, of course, the air conditioner is working hard because of the, the afternoon sun is, is heated up the home. So in some cases, you're gonna to wanna to program the smart panel to disconnect high draw non-essential items during those peak rate hours so you can avoid having to pay more to the power company. Now, by the way, if your utility company moved from a flat price billing to a time of use scheme, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. So smart panels give you visibility, control, they help you extend your battery runtime, and in certain cases, they can help you save money if you're in a time of use billing scenario. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Qmerit. If you're looking to live a more sustainable lifestyle, lower your energy footprint, and become more energy independent, then Qmerit is the home electrification partner for you. Qmerit is our preferred home electrification partner, offering installation of bi-directional EV chargers, smart electrical panels, solar panels, battery storage, generators, and high efficiency heat pumps. Many of our clients start with solar panels or electric vehicles, then progress to whole home electrification. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you wanna work with a qualified and trusted partner, then click the link in the description below so you can learn more about Powerhouse by Qmerit and get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Qmerit for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, I had a chance to do a hands-on walkthrough of the new Span Smart Panel so I could see all the different sizes that they offer as well as the different integrations that they offer with, for example, the Tesla Powerwall or the Span Drive EV charger. In fact, we're gonna show you that footage now. Uh, but before we dig into all of that, for those that aren't familiar with smart panels, can you tell our audience what is a smart panel and, and when would somebody want to install one in their house? Yeah, absolutely. So a smart panel is basically like a standard panel. It actually installs the same way as any conventional electrical panel, but behind each of the circuit breakers, right? Conventional off-the-shelf circuit breakers, we have both a relay and a current transformer. So the ability to actually measure power and control it. And this is really important for all sorts of reasons, right? 
We can actually use this information to deliver insights to customers. So we can show you, oh, this is how much power you're consuming in this sector of the home. We can then overlay the utility pricing during that time period and explain to customers what amount of money they're spending at different points of the day on different appliances. And they can use all this information to actually reduce their, their energy consumption and their, their utility bills. On top of that, right, we can allow unprecedented amounts of control because the panel, right, is, a, is basically a, a controllable device that you can actuate relays with your phone. So you can log in, you can, you know, if you're out of town and you need to shut a, turn off a circuit or whatever, you know, you can just do that remotely and make your home super efficient and safe. Cool, cool. Yeah, I know when I think about it, you know, the, the two words that come to mind are visibility and control, right? The, the, the sensors gives you visibility, the relays give you that control. You can turn it on and off or you can, the software can turn it on and off for you. Now, I noticed, the first thing I noticed looking at the new generation panel is it's just a physically much larger panel. Now, I think the, the old panel was limited to 32 breakers, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. And so what you see here, it's actually an expansion of the product line. So okay. we still will have that 32 breaker space panel right in the middle. But we've actually grown up all the way up to 48 on the high end and down all the way to 16. So okay. we're really basically, we, we've recognized that everybody's home is unique. You know, some homes require multiple smaller panels depending on geography. Some require one large panel. You know, a new build is typically going to be one big 48 circuit load center, for example. And so we need to have a product to match each of these categories, which is why they now span from 16 all the way to 48. Well, I'm glad to see the larger size because one, one of the things I've noticed, you know, covering this technology now for a number of years is a, a lot of the early adopters of this technology have larger homes, right? Absolutely. And, and so they, they need, in uh, many cases, they need larger load centers. They've got pools. They've got, you know, uh, multiple air conditioning units and they just need more space. Yep. So the, the 48 space version of the Span Smart Panel, is that something that's available now or coming soon? So that'll be available in the first half of next year. Okay. Um, looking, turning towards the earlier end of that first half. But, you know, st still working out the details there. And this smaller panel will be available towards the second half of next year. So, great. soon. <laughs> great, great. Now, we talked about, you know, or you mentioned a couple of reasons why, you know, why a homeowner might want to go with a smart panel. You know, one is visibility, but also being able to save money. You know, especially like in California, where we're recording right now, you could have pretty significant differences in terms of your time of use rates. You know, your on-peak hours versus your off-peak hours. Absolutely. So, walk us through some of the use cases where you might use that. Uh, you know, use that feature to help save money. How can you use Span to help you save money with your existing home? Yeah, sweet. So I think one of the big ways you can do it, right? There's all sorts of ways you can leverage a Span panel to save money. And maybe I'll just start at the top. So one amazing thing Span can do is if you're a customer looking to electrify your home, you're looking to add any electric loads, typically for most homes, they're gonna, see, they're gonna reach what's called the service upgrade requirement. So they're actually gonna have to go to the utility and get the conductors feeding their home, the, the capacity of the conductors feeding their home to get increased by the utility. This might cost several thousand dollars, you know, up to fifty thousand dollars. We've seen certain quotes in, in certain areas, and it might take six months, right? Depending on getting the utility involved, permitting, and all this other stuff. So, what this panel can do, because it can actually turn on and off loads on a homeowner's behalf, right, is it can keep the home below its service even if you've added more electric load than a conventional load calc would allow. So does that, make, does that make sense? Sure. So in that instance, this panel literally pays itself off instantly because the alternative, which is going out, getting a service upgrade, running new wires into your home, it might, it might cost you know, several thousand dollars and putting this panel in negates that entire need. Makes a lot of sense. And then to your question about being able to see individual loads and, and actually reduce costs like that, right? Obviously, time of use rates are becoming more and more prevalent. And, you know, in, in California, as an example, there's a, like a 50 cent difference between the electricity prices at 10 a.m. and at 7 p.m., right? And that's 50 cents. So any insights you can have in terms of, you know, what loads can I move to the other time? What loads can I just simply turn off? during those two different time periods is gonna be direct savings in your bank. And, and we can actually show them that incredibly specifically. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of loads, you know, one of the largest loads that a lot of homeowners have here in Southern California is their electric vehicle charging. So I noticed you have the span drive here. 
how does that tie in with this with the, the system and how, how might that work in a time of use configuration yeah so the span drive is really really cool so um we can do all sorts of things because we've actually made our own hardware right we own all the hardware and we own all the software that lives on these panels which gives us tons and tons of flexibility to enable the, the these two products to work together and this can do a few few special things. One is we can set the power consumption or the, the charging rate dynamically. So we can actually tell this, this charger to charge at 100% or 90% or 80% or whatever, right? And what that enables is a couple of things. One is you can, you can obviously set schedules and make sure that you're mapping your time of use rate depending on um, when you want to charge your car so that it's always the cheapest price, right? Another thing, say you have a solar panel, like a solar array on your roof. We'll actually be releasing very soon a software update, which will allow the car to exclusively charge with excess solar that's coming into your home, right? So we know all the power that, we know about all the power that you're ex consuming from the grid. If you have solar, we know how much solar you're generating. We can actually calculate, okay, how much headroom is there on the solar generation? And we can just pump all of that directly into the car, which means you're almost just operating like a little microgrid, right? You don't right. even need to send anything to your grid. You don't need to consume anything from the grid. And that keeps your prices super low. And then the third thing, so earlier I mentioned the uh, service upgrade avoidance, which is where we will potentially turn on and off loads right. to keep your home within its service, right? And we don't have to turn on or off this particular load, right? We're actually going to be announcing a whole suite of products that well, we won't necessarily be making them all, but a lot of them through partnerships, that we can dynamically set the power consumption of the device so that instead of turning it on or off, we can just turn it down a little. So you've got throttle control. Exactly. Basically, okay. It's throttle and control, exactly. So that works on the drive, that works with the Mitsubishi heat pump. So we can actually talk directly to the compressor, say, hey, you know, the home's consuming a little too much power, let's turn it back 20, 30, 40%. Homeowner will not experience a thing because it's a very, minor change for a short period of time and then we can ramp it right back up so it's seamless that's great Hans and, and you know this this is consistent with the, the trend that I'm noticing here which is that the solar and batteries smart panels th these are no longer stovepipe systems these are now part of a, a whole integrated home energy system that home energy system includes solar panels batteries EV chargers and HVAC as well. Now I'm aware that you guys have a new partnership with Mitsubishi where that allows for that, that technical tie-in to where SPAN can control the throttle on your HVAC as well. Um, and I could see that being important, not just for, for controlling your consumption or saving money, but you know, also let's say you're running in a, in a grid down situation, you're, you're running on battery backup power, well, maybe you want to throttle the AC down so you can stretch your battery runtime a little bit further. Tell us a little Absolutely. bit about how, how does all this tie together, right? Let's say if we're in a, in a backup situation. Yeah, so I think the, the way that Span looks at solving this sort of intermingling of all these components in the home is through an integrated approach, right? And I think that's kind of what you see is the culmination of all these products coming together, right? Everything is communicating. Everything is constantly like understanding, okay, what is the temperature of the home? Can I... Can I do a little bit of extra heating or extra cooling ahead of time to reach some certain, you know, uh, energy targets? Sort of like you say, you're trying to, you know, match a certain load. If the grid goes down, obviously we can detect that. We can communicate with the Tesla energy gateway and um, shed loads, shed unnecessary loads immediately so that you can ride through the outage with as much of your battery remaining. We're actually able to extend the average battery life of homeowners batteries by up to 40 percent just by controlling the loads and making sure that things that you don't need are on making sure that the compressor isn't running too hard not using the, the car charger unless you need it and stuff like that so it's really really meaningful for customers especially if you have a battery that's great can you tell us a little bit more how has the integration between tesla and span changed with the, the release of the new powerwall 3 yeah, so just like the Powerwall 2 and a couple other battery systems, we're you know, fully integrated. The installation process is identical. You connect the two with a, basically an Ethernet connection, and we're able to seamlessly talk. And um, from, the, from the consumer's perspective, it's no different, except they get all the benefits of you know, a Powerwall 3, which has higher output, um, new look, and yeah. All right.
So this has been a discussion of the SPAN smart panel and how smart panels work. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you see on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up in your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage and smart home options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a couple of quotes and you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best deal and getting the right equipment, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.